battle that took place during the First World War in the fields of Artois, France. And Neuve Chapelle took place from the March 10th to the 13th of March. Um, however, it's, however, there were two empires fighting in the battle. The British Empire and the German Empire. The British Empire were made of UK <coughs> and India, and they were fighting the German Empire, control, which controlled eastern Russia, western France, and southeast Austria and Hungary. Indian troops fought on these two battles, dividing two of the four divisions into Douglas Hayes' first army. <coughs> there were two key generals during the Battle of Neuve Chapelle. Crown Prince Ruprecht, who was the leader of the Germans, and the British and Indian troops were commanded by Sir Douglas Haig. Haig, the first army commander, called off the offensive after three days and ordered troops to consolidate the small amount of land they, land they gained. This was an initially successful attack at Neuve Chapelle, but the failure to follow up and the quick German response prevented further progress and heavy casualties were incurred. This was a result of poor leadership by Sir Douglas Hayes. Quality of soldiers. Um, in the Battle of Neuve Chapelle, there was a mixed range of soldiers. There were English soldiers and Indian soldiers. A majority of these soldiers would have been privates to begin with. Um, some moved up the ranks to become corporals, sergeants, and officers. Um, these soldiers were seen, the higher their rank in, the more soldier was seen as a leader. And a soldier's rank defined how much responsibility. They, he had. Um, they could be distinguished by the stripes and badges worn on the cuff of a soldier's or officer's coat. Weapons. The weapons that were used during World War I were the rifle and pistols, machine guns, artillery, bayonets, torpedoes, flamethrowers, mustard and chlorine gases, and smokeless gunpowder. Communication between the front lines and the corps headquarters were usually slow and inaccurate a lot of the time. There were no wireless technology and telephone lines were usually cut or destroyed by the enemy fire through the weapon. The operation at Neuve Chapelle was significant because it was the first planned offensive strike on a German trench system on the Western Front, conducted independently by the British Expedition, Expeditionary Corps during the Purple War. The battles during 1914 were classified as an encounter battle, defined as a series of actions which were unforeseen where local commanders on the ground had to react. By the end of 1914, the, move, the war movement had transcended into a stalemate, stalemate, where opposing sides were entrenched in a line of trenches that stretched from the Swiss border to the Belgian coast, a line that would be known as the Western Front. A narrow expanse of land, known as no man's land, separated these lines and these trenches were protected by barbed wire, machine guns and heavy artillery. This protected each side's defences. Defenses. On the 10th of March, the artillery created a barrage, which is a defensive curtain, and the British quickly seized the battered German trenches. trenches. The key to these tactics were accuracy and speed. The Legacy. The Battle of Neuve Chapelle marked a watershed of entrenched warfare. The battle also affected British tactical thinking with the idea that infantry offences accompanied by artillery barrages could break the stalemate of trench warfare. The Battle of Neuve Chapelle highlighted the state of communications on the battlefield and field during World War One, which made it incredibly difficult for commanders on both sides know where and when to effectively deploy and reserve troops. Overall, this battle was very significant compared to trench warfare. However, it wasn't very significant in terms of the Great War.